During this presentation, the equation will appear on the left and the sample table will be on the right. For sensitivity, divide the number of true positives by the total number of people with the condition. For the false negative rate, divide the number of false negatives by the total number of people with the condition. For specificity, divide the number of true negatives by the total number of people without the condition. For the false positive rate, divide the number of false positives by the total number of people without the condition. For the positive predictive value, divide the number of true positives by the total number of positive tests. For the negative predictive value, divide the number of true negatives by the total number of negative tests. For the false emission rate, divide the total number of false negatives by the total number of negative tests. For the false discovery rate, divide the number of false positives by the total number of positive tests. For accuracy, divide the number of correct tests, that is the sum of the true positives and the true negatives, by the total number of tests. Precision is calculated in the same way as the positive predictive value. Divide the number of true positives by the total number of positive tests. For the positive likelihood ratio, divide the true positive rate, which is the sensitivity, by the false positive rate. For the negative likelihood ratio, divide the false negative rate by the true negative rate, or the specificity. For informativeness, subtract the sum of the sensitivity and the specificity by one. For markedness, subtract the sum of the positive predictive value and the negative predictive value by one. For absolute risk reduction, subtract the incidence of the condition in individuals who receive therapy two by the incidence of the condition in individuals who receive therapy one. The number needed to treat is the inverse of the absolute risk reduction. It is calculated by dividing one by the difference in incidence of the condition in individuals who received therapy two versus therapy one. For attributable risk, subtract the incidence of the condition in individuals who are exposed to risk factor by the incidence in individuals who are not. The number needed to treat is the inverse of the attributable risk. It is calculated by dividing one by the difference in incidence of the condition in individuals who are exposed to risk factor versus those who are not. For relative risk, divide the incidence of the condition in individuals who are exposed to risk factor by the incidence of the condition in individuals who are not. For relative risk reduction, subtract 1 by the relative risk. For odds of exposure amongst cases, divide the number of people with the condition who are exposed to a risk factor by the number of people with it who are not exposed. For odds of exposure amongst controls, divide the number of people without the condition who are exposed to a risk factor by the number of people without it who are not exposed. For odds ratio, divide the odds of exposure amongst cases by the odds of exposure amongst controls. Alternatively, you may divide A times D by C times B. For prevalence, divide the number of people with the condition by the total number of people in the population. For incidence, divide the number of new cases by the total number of people in the population. And also, remember to divide by the time period.